It is absolutely sickening how silent Hollywood is about this new Sound of Freedom movie. It is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen. Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon all turned it down from streaming on their platform. First step in eradicating this crime is awareness. The AC was out. Like, as soon as we walked into the theater, it was hot as hell. They didn't turn the lights off. They literally had the lights off. <laughs> The film Sound of Freedom is being suppressed across the country. Some theaters are canceling screenings, evacuating their customers, and even turning off the AC so it's unbearable to watch. This film exposes everything Hollywood and the elites are trying to hide. So let's get into it. <laughs> Now there's a controversial film that was released recently and nobody's really talking about it because it seems like the world is trying to suppress its message. The film is called The Sound of Freedom and there are some people in Hollywood or some elites who are trying to stop people from seeing this film because it exposes exactly what they don't want us to know. This story shines a light even on the darkest of places. After rescuing a young boy from ruthless child traffickers, a federal agent learns that the boy's sister is still held captive and decides to embark on a dangerous mission to save her. How long have you been doing this? 12 years. How do you do it? It is the fastest growing international crime network that the world has ever seen. It has already passed the illegal arms trade, and soon it's going to pass the drug trade. This job tears you to pieces. This is my one chance to put those pieces back together. Now, this movie is scary because it's based off of a true story. And when we see people like Jeffrey Epstein and weirdos like that get exposed, it makes you question who's really involved with this process. And there's a lot of people who are criticizing this movie and some people who are even trying to stop it from playing. It is absolutely sickening how silent Hollywood is about this new Sound of Freedom movie, which is a Christian based film that exposes child trafficking. There is no media coverage about it and no celebrities except for Mel Gibson, who already has been black blacklisted, endorsed it. Not to mention Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon all turned it down from streaming on their platform. It seems to have Satan completely frightened, so naturally, I went to go see why. Not only did this film open my eyes to the complete atrocities that the elite are engaging in behind closed doors, but it completely exposes their playbook and how they lure victims in. It is absolutely baffling how these celebrities are so quick to hop on every single woke social justice issue, but when it comes to child trafficking, there's crickets across the entire industry. He has a valid point, especially because I think about like, I don't know, at least like where I grew up, there wasn't a lot of talk about, I mean, clearly not a lot of talk about this in general, but when I moved to Florida, I saw so many signs about human trafficking in Vegas. I saw so many signs about human trafficking. So it's very much alive, but I feel like we're not as aware or knowledgeable on how to expose it, call it out and end it. And nobody wanted to support this movie. Essentially, it was crowdfunded. So people got together, raised money to make this project happen. One of the most disturbing problems in our world today is human trafficking, and particularly the trafficking of children. Now, the first step in eradicating this crime is awareness. Go see Sound of Freedom. So it sounds like this piece of work can inform a lot of people on the dangers surrounding human trafficking. But there are some people trying to stop this film because they claim that it's pushing false narratives. This person writes that it contributes to a false perception that the problem of trafficking is best addressed by kicking down doors and carrying out children. Most trafficking happens through a manipulative grooming process opposed to like kidnapping scenarios, which I think like, I mean, how do you really know this if, you know, not every case is ever been recorded there are some people who are trapped in it and there's no help and nobody has any idea that they are even in this it is 6 30 in the morning and it's a good time to remind everybody that the star actor in the sound of freedom believes stuff like this which is why the movie is constantly being labeled as q and on adjacent no, I do think there's a fine line between like, you know, QAnon and then what's really happening out there. And I do believe like where there's smoke, there's fire. So I definitely believe like human trafficking is very much alive. But some people are going at it, calling this a recruitment tool for the far right. 
It actually looks like people who are criticizing this film are being attacked by people and harassed on social media for their opinions of this film. So there are a lot of people who have a lot of feelings. Sound of Freedom is released. A movie attempting to expose child sex trafficking and the growing dangers we face as parents, even in America. A movie simply trying to bring light to the horrors that lie in the dark. Here are the reviews from the same two publications. Rolling Stone. Sound of Freedom is a superhero movie for dads with brain worms. The QAnon-tinged thriller about child trafficking is designed to appeal to the conscience of a conspiracy-addled boomer. And The Guardian, Sound of Freedom, the QAnon-adjacent thriller seducing America. Jim Cav Cavizzo, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name, stars as a hero trying to stop child traffickers in a paranoid new movie. And if you continue to read that article, they dive deep into an anti-Twitter rant about how this movie is essentially a gateway to far-right ideology. Now, I don't know if a lot of these publications like the Rolling Stone even fully understand what they're reporting on because they have to be experts in human trafficking to really call this a sensational piece. And they even say it pushes unhelpful and harmful myths about human trafficking. They argue that when popular movies promote the narrative that trafficking involves forceful kidnapping and imprisonment, it makes it harder for people to grasp the more complex trafficking cases like psychological manipulation, which we've seen a lot of in Hollywood. Now, when it comes to movies, TV shows, entertainment in general, there has to be like essentially a shock value to grasp the emotion and the attention of whoever's viewing. But for whatever reason, this has become a complete political piece, which I think is really interesting because like, I mean, human trafficking is like a crime. It's not really like a political belief in whether you believe in it or not. And now it seems like people who are going to watch this movie in theaters are watching it be turned off. Like it's literally being turned off as soon as they get in there and sit a few minutes play. And then, you know, there's some technical difficulties, which seems really convenient. So my fiance and I just watched the movie Sound of Freedom that exposes sex traffickers. And do you want to tell them what happened in the movie theater? All right, AMC, I don't know what's going on here but first off the ac was out like when we went to watch the movie and i'd seen someone else post something too that also saw it at an amc and their ac was out and like as soon as we walked into the theater it was hot as heck i the literally AC brought a out. sweatshirt and i was like sweating and then we realized like it took us a while to actually realize it but they didn't turn the lights off they literally had the lights they on. kept the lights on the entire movie <laughs> who does that <laughs> like, they don't want you to see this movie they were trying to make it like not enjoyable no like they were trying to make it unenjoyable what do they think we're just gonna be like oh the lights are on we're gonna leave like no go watch sound of freedom in theaters now multiple videos have gone viral of viewers being forced out of seeing the sound of freedom at theaters one tiktoker claims that her theater was evacuated without explanation while another said that the air conditioning was broken making their screening unbearably hot just a little experiment let's take a look ticket sales for mission impossible the newest one just came out all right this right here is an early morning screening so not too many seats right let's go ahead and look at a prime time 7 p.m should be a lot of people and it's kind of so-so, not too many people, right? Let's check Sound of Freedom. Early morning, okay, this one's already expired, 11.55, noon. And look at this. Not bad for an afternoon screening. Let's go ahead and look at prime time, 7 o'clock. Guys, look at this. Look at all those seats. In a TikTok video with more than a million views, a woman named Stephanie said that she just experienced a conspiracy theory in person for the first time ever when she tried to go and see the film. She appears to be based in Wisconsin and claims that the studios and everything are trying to hush-hush this movie and make it seem like not a lot of people are going to see it. And they're not promoting it at all. They're basically trying to make it seem like no one is going to go and watch it. One TikToker claims that she heard all these weird things happening, so she decided to go and watch it for herself. And the lights did not turn off for 10 minutes. There was also a voiceover, like a narrator, for blind people, so she could tell a ton of people around her were getting up to go and complain about that. It's actually happening. Give you our free passes to come back and see it again, hopefully without interruption. I unfortunately had to apologize for the inconvenience, but we're getting it hopefully looked at later in the week. Can I trust you? Sorry, guys. Really? This is called intentional. Yeah. They don't want it to go to the box office gross. Don't take the money. Part of my job. Just 
She continued that about after 15 minutes, someone came in and they turned off the movie and then someone said, we can't fix it, so you all have to leave. We're gonna give you free passes. You could actually hear some people were rambling in the background like, oh, I heard some shady stuff was going around this movie and now we're seeing it in person and that Hollywood is trying to suppress this film. Tried going to see Sound of Freedom and this happened. No one left until they played the movie. They tried to give us free tickets if we left. It really makes you question our ability to go and consume media. Like, what are we allowed to see out here? Because it seems like this film beat all the odds. It's finally made it to theaters, and there's still so much happening to stop the message. So I've been seeing all over TikTok that people are going to watch... The movie the sound of freedom and these weird things are happening like random emergency evacuations um the air conditioning not working and having to leave the theater and i thought no that's probably just something that's happening in other theaters and other places so i took me and my daughters to go watch the sound of freedom today and about an hour and 20 minutes into the movie we get a random emergency evacuation none of the staff knows what's going on the mall wasn't being evacuated just the theater all they did was refund us our money with no explanation but i guess you can call me a conspiracy theorist now the theaters are responding to this criticism well honestly i'm not buying it they are claiming that there's tons of people seeing this movie um you know it played 3,000 times at 570 theaters more than 100,000 people watched it how are we trying to stop this movie but you cannot ignore all these clips that are very convenient that this film in particular is being stopped fire alarm goes off and people still watch the movie they can't stop the truth Other theaters like AMC are also putting out statements claiming that there are tons of people who have seen this movie. So um, this is like QAnon conspiracy. Twitter bots are pushing this narrative. But I mean, the beauty about TikTok is that like you can't really create like fake. I mean, you can make fake TikToks, but you know, those are real people and real experiences. And that's not made up. That's not like just a Twitter bot tweeting out something to make the theaters look bad. It's about to start. Um, just pause it like a second before it goes. Just to let you guys know again, it is going to get hot. It's gonna be like that throughout the whole movie. So why is it only this one though, not not all the other ones? Because this was a sign in a theater that was smaller, unfortunately, oh, with that's a high bullshit, demand though, and an audience. Nah, nah. Bullshit, it was just, well, that's bullshit though. We have a nine and we have an eleven o'clock showing for the exchange. Uh, you can get a full refund, or you can go ahead and get an exchange for the other times. But we can Hollywood watch it, right? Ready? They're gonna play the movie. Yeah, we're about to play it right now. Okay. We're just letting you guys know, so we don't have any issues later. No, it's just we have to play it right now. Yeah, we're we're good. I don't. It's not gonna get harder than this, is it? Is that what you're saying? Uh, there shouldn't be nobody coming in. Yeah, no. Then we're we should. Okay. It's, it's All right, then. I think everybody's ready. <laughs> uh, thank you. Now, I don't go to movies quite often. I, I think I'm going to go see the Barbie movie soon. And honestly, I need to go and see this one before they try to completely eliminate it from the world because it's not going on Netflix or anything like that after. Now, I do think the AC situation is ridiculous. I mean, how does a theater get away with like turning off the AC in an actual theater room? I, I mean, I've been to movies before where they're completely empty in, in there and the theater is blasting the AC. So it doesn't really make sense that they would do this for this film in particular. Have you heard anything about the other movie theaters? Not oh, work, AC not working. Like the other, like the other houses. No, well, like around the whole country, different theaters. In this movie only, the AC doesn't work. It's like super stiff. Oh really? Yeah, you oh, should. You no, should look, yeah, on, you should look online. It's like no, it's insane. The movie is probably just. <laughs> I don't know. I know oh, cool it's been thing. very popular. So the more people you have in a theater, the more the, uh, different the yeah, we, can be. We've yeah, been going so to movie yeah, opens yeah, no, our whole life, so and weird. it's never happened. Yeah. It's yeah. Super, super um, weird. Here's those four for you guys. Okay. Yeah. It's all that. Thank you. You guys must admit there's something definitely up here. And if you guys have seen the film, comment below what you think about it, and if you had an experience like some of these people sharing on TikTok. Because I, I mean, it almost seems like the workers are completely unaware, and it makes me question like who's pushing this initiative to have these things happen to make it so uncomfortable and difficult to actually watch the film. We are curious what your experiences were in the movie theater because we pre-ordered our tickets. The tickets got refunded to my friend and we couldn't figure out why. So we come anyways to the theater after dinner and they're like, oh, well, we refunded all the tickets because there's no air conditioning in our theaters. Okay, whatever. We don't care. Are you still showing it? Yeah, you can, you can still watch it. 
and we just are curious why they why why didn't they let us know there was no one in that theater there was us four and four other people eight people in the theater on a friday night there was air conditioning in the lobby there was air conditioning in the hallways there was air conditioning in the bathrooms not the theaters they don't have the bartender or anything in the theater now, not every theater has their AC turned off for this film. One person actually wrote on Twitter that they had the reverse scenario. They nearly froze because they turned the AC up so much it was unbearable. Now, I'm not exactly sure what's going on with the AC and the heat and all of that. I mean, you guys know it is so hot all around the country. Phoenix, LA, um, Texas, Florida, it is getting really hot hot out there so maybe that's part of the reason but there's something a little too coincidental about all of this and I feel like this movie is trying to be suppressed I mean it clearly is being suppressed the bigger question is who's doing the suppressing but I want to hear what you guys think in the comments below and I'll see you in a new video soon bye guys <laughs>